Hey guys, my name is Ismas, and today I want to show you how to make a chain, how to animate a chain uh, like this in Blender, and uh, also give it some physics, uh, like you see here. And uh, you can also make it interact with other objects. So for example, if we add a Suzanne head uh, around here, this maybe in this area here, and just put it up around here, and uh, give it a collision surface it should be able to collide uh, with the object as you can see yeah, so let's dive in and see how to get this to work so the first thing you want to do is uh, add a plane and just add a plane and scale it on the x-axis and then yes okay, an easier way to do because we want a lot of subdivisions uh, what i'm going to do is uh, just delete uh, let me make sure this is recording. Just delete this side of the vertices, like so, and then subdivide this a few times. You can increase the, the number of cuts here, but uh, the slider ends at 10, but uh, you can increase it to, by typing in directly. I'm just going to type in something like uh, 40, so that we have more subdivisions. Maybe even subdivide this even further, so that we have something like that. Now we can give this a, a cloth modifier uh, it will just fall down we want it we want one of the sides to be attached to something like you see there so that it, it's not just falling like that so i'm just going to select uh the two end vertices and i give them a vertex group a sign and i use that vertex group as as uh, the shape key uh, uh the pin group uh, for the shape so i'm just going to select that that means that uh, those two vertices will be uh, will, will stick out of the positions they have. And uh, if you want to control uh, the uh, the cloth uh, with an object, what you can do is uh, add, uh, select the vertex you want to control. Say, for example, in this case, I wanted to be able to remove this around. Uh, the reason it's not moving right now is because uh, the cloth has been uh, baked here. So I need to maybe just move this around so that uh, I can remove that cache. Like that yeah you can see now it works so if you want to do to be able to do that what you want to do is uh, select uh, the end vertex here one of the endpoints that is part of the pin vertex group you created and then hit ctrl j sorry ctrl h uh, to add a new hook uh, like that now you should be able to control uh, that vertex so you can see whenever i move this object uh, the vertex is stays attached to it but uh, the problem is uh, the cloth is not being uh, the, the it's not affecting the cloth simulation and the reason for that is that uh, in the modifier stack you can see that uh, our hook is before uh, the cloth simulation uh, which means that uh, that movement is not be being added to the uh, simulation so you need to move this hook above uh, the cloth uh, so that uh, we have uh, the simulation consider that movement now what we're left with is that to make to create our our chain and make it follow uh, that uh, cloth simulation we, did, we have done. So to do that, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to use the, subsurf the surface deformer modifier and for it to work, you need, it can't work on just vertices like this. You need to have faces into faces on your mesh. So I'm just going to select this and uh, extrude it like that so that we have some thickness to this. Uh, mesh and uh, everything still works uh, as it's supposed to work you can see uh, the only difference is uh, because we have duplicated these uh, we have new vertices in our mesh uh, they are not attached to our hook so one of the vertices one of the vertex is not attached to our hook so I'm just going to select select this the mesh and then shift I uh, select the mesh go to edit mode Select these two and then control select uh, the hook, then control H, uh, then assign to uh, the active uh, to that hook. So now you can see everything moves as intended. Now, the next thing we can do is uh, create uh, the uh, the chain. Now, the simplest way to do that is just add a plane, scale it down, and maybe scale it horizontally a bit. Uh, make sure to apply the scale. Go to edit mode and then use Control Shift B at bevel that uh, to bevel that the edge and uh, add in some resolution using your middle mouse wheel. 
uh, to make the corners rounded and uh, we have two edges vertices here so i want them to be matched into one so i'll match them by the center and uh, now i can go to i can select this face hit x to delete only faces so that i only remain with uh, uh, that uh, rounded edge like that and uh, i need to convert this into a curve object so go to object convert curve and then go to the curve uh, properties and uh, then increase uh, the not the extrude but uh, the bevel uh, this will give uh, your curve uh, some thickness you can right click to give it a shade smooth and uh, yeah i think uh, the seat now what we are left with is that convert this into a mesh so just right click convert to a mesh and i can see what we have then add a solidify sorry add an array modifier now to turn it into a chain what you want to do is add an empty just going to add it directly there so shift a empty there is empty like so and uh, select the uh, the chain and uh, under the array select object offset by the way i'm using blender 2.9 so if my interface looks a bit different that's the reason why so select object of offset and then select the empty and rotate this i think it's about 40 uh, actually rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees and uh, move uh, this object offset or the empty a bit inside so that we have our link and that uh, you can increase now the uh, the, the array count uh, like that to increase uh, the length of your chain now our chain is a bit too thick so what i can do is uh, to make it smaller you need to select both the empty and the chain and scale them down using s but uh, if you just se select the chain it's going to create this effect here i uh, don't want to do that uh, or if you select just the empty which is our array control uh, it's going to also have the same effect so you want to select both of them and then scale them down if you in case you want to uh, have a smaller chain and then now i can just increase my array count until i have the length of uh, the length of my chain and uh, then wh what i'm left to do is, is uh, add a surface deformer modifier and select uh, this cloth uh, that we are simulating so just tag it that and hit bind and then now it should behave like that and then now you can just grab this move it around now you can play jumping rope or something like that and uh, you'll be good yeah so that's it and uh, to make this collide with an object just give just select the mesh you want to have it collide with give it a physics collision property and uh, it should be able to collide with that surface so let's uh, play this you can see how that behaves okay i'm seeing an issue here but i think that's uh, a result of uh, the bake yeah but anyway that's it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video